trauma in the life of a poor black woman here in the city of Richmond. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed that you didn't use discretion that you could have used to write her a ticket and allowed her the margin to be able to go and get the kind of tags that was necessary for her vehicle. She had, there's no criminal record here. You didn't find anything in the car, but you chose not to use discretion. And you could have used that discretion, but you chose not to. And that, sir, is the reason why black people do not have trust for white police officers in their community where you do not live and where you do have no sense of commitment to the life and the needs of the people in the community. So you can laugh, you can smile, you can look away, but tonight, sir, you have demonstrated yourself to be without humanity. Tonight, sir, you have rendered yourself and demonstrated yourself to not have compassion. And for that, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed to get in your vehicle and drive down these streets. You should be ashamed to wear that badge. You should be ashamed to declare yourself as some kind of hero. You, sir, are a disrespect to the badge that you wear. You, sir, are a disrespect to the city of Richmond. You, sir, are a disrespect to the kind of community we are trying to build. And so you should understand that when you choose to prey on a poor black woman, a poor black mother, someone who has a medical condition, you, sir, have demonstrated yourself to be inhumane. So don't tell us you are about justice. Do not tell us you are about equality. Do not tell us you are about compassion because you have proved tonight that you are not. For you demonstrated yourself tonight to be unworthy of any respect. You should be ashamed. So you can use your little, your little hard edge. You can use your little false sense of toxic masculinity to try to demonstrate yourself as a person of power and demonstrate yourself as a person of agency. But you should be ashamed of yourself. Terrorizing our community. Contributing to the pain and the trauma and the depression and the potential loss of employment for a poor black woman just so that you could be able to execute some kind of field training. And this is what you're teaching the young officers who are trying to figure out how to get into the department. You chose to demonstrate that tonight. You chose to be the example for that tonight. So you can go ahead and retreat over and have a nice fun conversation with the tow man because you can't stand and listen to the critique of the community who pays your salary.